This video details both the layout and equipment required to set up a precious metal refining laboratory. The refining capacity of this lab is 25 kilos per day and can be easily expanded for additional capacity. It can be used to refine both gold and platinum group metals. This setup is appropriate for refining jewelry, jewelry sweeps, and other jewelry wastes, e-scrap, catalytic converters, mined concentrates, and virtually all other gold and platinum bearing materials. Refining procedures are outlined throughout, but detailed instructions are not provided within this video. You can view Shaw's comprehensive video instructions on both YouTube and on the Shaw website. Room dimensions should be at least 20 by 20 feet or 7 meters by 7 meters. Cabinets, hoods, and tables can be purchased locally but are commonly built on site. Cabinets serve a dual purpose. Supporting the hoods, but also providing storage space for consumable chemicals and supplies. Typically, they are approximately 6 feet, or 2 meters wide. 2 feet, or 2 thirds meter deep, and about 3 feet, or 1 meter high. It is essential that the dimensions match the hoods that they will support. A typical refining lab will have two cabinets. One for supporting the digestion hood and one for the precipitation hood. However, additional cabinets and hoods can be added to the setup if you need to expand your capacity. A standard setup will include two hoods. The metal is typically dissolved into solution within the first hood. After filtering, the pure precious metal is precipitated in the second hood. Fume hoods are mounted on the cabinets, so the span and width dimensions must match. The heights for prefabricated hoods are standard. However, if you intend to fabricate your hoods on site, the hood height can be set at whatever is convenient. Keep in mind that space must be provided for the exhaust vent piping, which is typically 4 or 6 inches in diameter. Jars are situated within the hoods. You can use multiple small containers, or just a few very large containers. The container sizes you choose, will depend upon your batch sizes, and what is convenient for you. So, how do you determine the size jars you need? For every kilo of metal you want to refine, you will need approximately 4 and 1 quarter liters of solution. Heating the solution, is not usually required for gold. So plastic jars are generally better than glass because plastic is much less likely to break. Quartz immersion heaters can be employed in the plastic jars if a hot solution is required. While it is possible to build a shower face wash station on site, these stations are generally readily available and reasonably priced. So, it is almost always preferable to simply purchase one and install it. Sulfur dioxide is the precipitant of choice for lab-sized or larger refining setups. The tank and regulator are generally rented, not purchased. You will need at least one table. That table will support your Buchner funnel. The pumping system is also commonly mounted to the table. A Buchner funnel is used in two steps in the refining process. First, to separate any materials left undissolved during the digestion process. And again, to recover the precipitated purified gold from solution after precipitation. Several sizes are available. The standard size utilized in labs of this capacity is 18 inch. To avoid losses during filtration, a very fine grade of filter paper is used with a pore size of 1 micron.
This small pore size ensures that no gold particles can pass through the paper and be lost. The filter paper is sold in packages of 100 sheets. A sheet of filter fabric should be placed between the filter paper and the plate of the Buchner funnel. The ARVT pumping system delivers a very powerful vacuum. The filter fabric supports the filter paper, preventing the strong vacuum from punching holes into the filter paper. Filter fabric can be used for years, over and over, without the need for replacement. The vacuum plate and gasket sit on top of the Buchner funnel. The plate enables the pump to develop a strong vacuum within the funnel. This vacuum pulls the solution out of the containers and transfers it through the filter. No handling of the jars of acid is required. Additionally, because the filter funnel is sealed by the plate and gasket, filtration is fume-free. The pump is the heart of the refining lab. It both transfers the solutions and provides the vacuum required to filter those solutions. The pumping system, which consists of pump, interval timer, and solenoid, is generally mounted on the filter table below the Buchner funnel. The pump is powered by compressed air. This should be provided by an air compressor. 2 horsepower is the standard, but you can get by with one as small as 1 half horsepower. The compressor is typically located outside the lab room, simply because it is noisy. The blower and scrubber should also be situated outside the lab room. They can be located outside the building, if the temperature permits. However, freezing temperatures will damage the scrubber. Because refining fumes are corrosive, the inner surfaces of both blower and scrubber must be plastic or epoxy coated metal. Scrubbers are commonly available, but it is also possible to build one on site. This diagram outlines the basic design. The general principle of a scrubber is a shower to wash the acid from the fumes. The shower water is treated with a high pH base such as sodium hydroxide, to neutralize the fumes' low pH acidity. This concludes the basic overview of setting up a precious metal refining lab. Undoubtedly, you will still have questions, and we are here to help. Tech support, both by email and phone, is free of charge. And, unlike me, the technician will be a real, live person.